Hey guys, it's Lotus and welcome back to another video. Happy Valentine's Day! Um, so, if you've watched our previous Urha read-along, um, where we finished book one, we saw that Chua Ning didn't really get a happy ending. He ain't doing so well. And so, I figured for Valentine's Day, why not help set him up on a date? Yeah, let's get, let's get Shijun some lovin'. <laughs> so, um, before I go into the contestants, I'm just gonna let you guys know ahead of time that some of these make sense and some don't. Um, you will see as I continue to go down the list of bachelors. <laughs> um, we have some people that are single and ready to mingle. We also have some couples who are there either as uh, platonic dates and or into uh, something a little bit more open. And then we have, um, let's just say, someone who really shouldn't be there but is there anyway because um, we needed to fill a spot. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'll just let you guys know that I will be, I will be using characters from Urha as well as the three MXTX novels. So, uh, Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Scum Villain Self-Saving System, and Heaven's, uh, Heaven Official's Blessing. Yes. Okay. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Okay. So our bachelorette. <laughs> so I know Chua Ning is technically a bachelor, but because the majority of the contestants are male, um, it would be really confusing if I were to make Chua Ning a bachelor because then it would refer to all of the contestants as female. And it doesn't give me an option to change the gender of the contestants. So for now, Chua Ning is our bachelorette and welcome our contestants. First, we have Moran, um, 1.0 Moran, the one that's been reborn. Um, then we have, <laughs> we have his greatest rival, Ta Xian Jun, AKA 0.5 Moran, the Moran from his first life. So I'm interested to see how they're gonna fight it out for Shi Jun's attention. We also have Xue Meng, his favorite disciple, Chu Ning's favorite disciple, allegedly. We have Shi Mei, uh, Chu Ning's uh, kindest disciple. We have Ye Wang Shi. Why is why are they there? Because they seem like a great person and has a lot of decorum, and I think that they would get along in terms of personality. Next, we have Nan Gongzi. Nan Gongzi, why is he here? Because he is single, and I needed to include some single people on this list. I, I don't really want to break up any canon couples, um, so that's why I'm trying to find single uh, characters that are available to participate in this simulator. Next line, we have Mei Han Shui, who, as you know, is a womanizer and a flirt. Um, so I wonder how he will charm Chua Ning's boots off. Then we have the Shwez. Now this is a platonic contestant. It's the two of them. I didn't want to break them up. Shwe Jen Yong and Madam Wang. I feel like if they were to take Chua Ning on a date, it would be really nice. They would get to coddle him, and I think that would, I think that's re that would be really therapeutic for Chua Ning. Now we have some characters from Scum Villain. We have Shen Jiu, who is single. So, um, unlike Bing Chu, uh, Lo Bing He, and Shen Yuan, uh, Shen Ju doesn't have anyone in particular that he's dating. So, although some people would argue that they would pair him up with uh, Yue Cheng Yuan, but uh, for now, Shen Ju is participating. I don't know if they would get along, but I think it would be interesting to see them maybe um, fight over a game of like Go or something. Then we have Lo Bing Ge. Now Lo Bing Ge isn't a bachelor because he has a whole harem of women, but he is looking for a Shidrun. And so, can Chua Ning be the Shidrun that Lo Bing Ge is looking for? <laughs> we shall see. Then we have Liu Qing Ge, who has second male lead syndrome, and I think he has a similar personality to Chua Ning. So I wonder, would they get along? He's single and uh, Ready to mingle, maybe. He has to, he has, he's a little emotionally constipated, but so is Chuan Ning. So maybe they could talk over their broken hearts. Then we have Mu Ching Fang, who is uh, also a bachelor. We don't know too much about him except that he is a doctor slash healer. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, give him some love. 
Uh, then we have Yue Chengyuan. So he's here too because he also low key has second male lead syndrome. Um, except that the person he really likes is not the person that has come back. Uh, so he's kind of like a sad case, and so we want to give him some opportunity, an opportunity for love as well. So Yue Chengyuan, you are also one of the contestants. Now we're moving on to Mo Dao Zushi. We have Nehai Sang because he is a bachelor. I don't know if he's interested in dating at all. He's really interested in making fan fiction, so I don't know. Maybe he could get some pointers by observing Chu Ming's relationship with uh, Moran. Maybe he would uh, make Chu Ming into one of his main characters in his next novel. We have Jiang Cheng, who, as we know, is a perpetual bachelor. He, uh, if you read the novel, you know that um, he does not have a good track record with dating. He is too demanding of his partners, so I wonder if he and Chu Wanning would get along. We shall see. We have Lan Shichen, Lo, uh, you know, Lan Wangji's older brother. Uh, Lan Shichen is just really devastated at the end of Mo Dao Zushi, so I want to give him a chance to kind of like take his mind off things. <laughs> come out of, come out of, a. Uh, Come out of uh, seclusion, Lan Shichen. Come find some love. Okay, then we have Wen Ning, who is a cinnamon roll, and he's the pampering type, so I feel like if he were to go out on a date with Chuan Ning, he would be such the gentleman. We have Lan Shiren, um, a, a, a zaddy. <laughs> uh, he is not in a relationship, and uh, they have also kind of strict, similar personalities, him and Chuan Ning. I feel like they would get along in terms of talking about academics. Then we have Ne Ming Jue, Ne Hai Sang's older brother. Ne Ming Jue is a beefcake, and I feel like Chua Ning, who is so delicate and dainty, would really appreciate some beef. <laughs> now we uh, move on to um, Tian Guan, uh, Heaven's official blessing. We have Mu Qing, who I see. I haven't actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, uh, confess to you guys that I haven't actually finished reading all of Heaven's Official Blessing. So, I don't know if Mu Qing or Feng Xin are actually in any relationships. I know they are shipped together a lot, but I don't know if they are in any canon relationships, so I put them both here, Mu Qing and Feng Xin. Feng Xin. Um, we've got Qi Rong, who, you know what? He's, he's a little stinky because he's been eating corpses, but I feel like he is pretty handsome because he's supposed to look exactly like Xie Lian and exactly like Dian Sha. So if Dian Sha is hot, then Qi Rong is also really hot. And you know, this hot little like gremlin, <laughs> give him a chance. Then we have Jun Wu, another zaddy. Uh, give Chua Ning a zaddy, right? Um, Jun Wu is really authoritative. And I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Chuan Ning might be into that type of thing. I don't know. <laughs> He's a tsundere, but, uh, like, you know, his relationship with Tashi and Jun in the first life, um, he, he does, he do be liking an emperor, so, Jun Wu is also an emperor, so we'll see how that goes. Then we have Pei Ming, another womanizer, like Mei Han Shui, uh, but Pei Ming, he knows he's a womanizer, but he's also, um, he supports Hualien, he's, he's the president of Hualien fan club, so I feel like he is a great person to talk about feelings to, and he's, he's someone that I feel like is really charming, you know? I think that Chuaning could be charmed by him after he, after, after he breaks through, like, the ice. Then we have Pei Xu. Um, who is the more honest, I feel like, more honest and straightforward of the Pays. He, uh, he's, he's a cutie, so why not? Give him a chance as well. Then we have Shi Wudu. Why are they here? Shi Wudu, why? Just because I needed, to, I needed to place someone else. I was trying to think, what other bachelors are there at, uh, in Tianguan? And I was like, oh, Shi Wudu, I don't think they're, wait. Again, like I said, I haven't actually finished all of Heaven's Official Blessings. I don't really know if 
Sure, Wudu was in a relationship, but I'm just gonna assume he's not and put him here. Okay. Next, we have some couples, okay? So this is gonna be, um, he's gonna, he can have a chance to be coddled by some couples. We've got Bing Chu as a unit, so no splitting them up, but I feel like, like Shen Qing Chu and Chu Ning would get along in terms of, uh, they have similar, like, facades, right? And then uh, Lo Bing He would be kind of like a puppy. So I feel like Lo Bing He is a puppy and Moran is a puppy. So in that way, I think Chua Ning would probably warm up to Bing He. Also, Bing Chu is a Shijun ex-disciple relationship. And uh, they are living, uh, and you know, they are living the life that Chua Ning wants, right? He also really likes his disciples. So maybe he can get some pointers from them. How do they make it work? Next, we have Wang Xian, Lan Wangji, and Wei Wu Xian. And I think because their dynamic is so cute and they love each other so much, I think that they would be able to take really good care of Chu Aning. Um, Chu Aning doesn't like to show his expressions often like Lan Wangji, and Wei Wu Xian is really good at pulling expressions out. So I think having exposure to Wei Wu Xian would be a great opportunity for Chu Aning to express himself more. Okay, um, so you see that there's there's one of them here that is not like the others, but I will get to that at the end. Then we have Hua Lian. We have Dian Sha and Hua Chang who are in love, in love. They are so into each other so much. And I think that Xu Ning would be able to just, I don't know, get some pointers from them as well. See how, how understanding they are of each other. How, you know, technically one is like heavenly is good and the other is evil, demonic, but they still make it work, you know? So, Hua Lian taking Chu Ning out on a date. I feel like Hua Chung would be the type that he's like, he would be able to kind of teach Chu Ning how to flirt, maybe? Although we kind of also agree that Hua Chung is actually like a blushing maiden on the inside, but tries to act cool and suave um, when interacting with Dian Sha. <laughs> Then we have Mo Shang, uh, Mo Bei Jun, and Shang Qinghua. I didn't want to split them up, so I put them together. But, you know, Mo Bei Jun is also kind of like an ice dude, and Chu Ning is kind of icy. Shang Qinghua is kind of uh, clumsy, but endearing. And I think that, you know, they would be a fun couple to go on a date with. <laughs> then we have Beef Lee. Um, I added Beef Leaf. I was trying to figure out, okay, so I was running out of spots, because again, I didn't want to put anyone that was explicitly in a relationship so that's why I kept like Bing Chu, Wang Xian, and Hua Lian together and I also wanted to try to find contestants that were um you know single and ready to mingle so that's why I was actually struggling to fill out all the spots so I found Beef Leaf and I figured you know what they're a fan favorite couple and so we again similar in a way to Wang Xian uh, Shi Qing Xuan is very bubbly and uh, fun and optimistic, whereas He Xuan is more demure and quiet and a little depressing. But I think that Shi Ning is not as depressing as He Xuan, but not, definitely not as optimistic as Shi Qing Xuan. So I think that he'd be a good middleman between the two. Um, yeah. And then um, we have the elephant in the room. We have Brian. Who is Brian? Well, guys, um, so like I said, I did not have enough. I couldn't think of another contestant, and so I had an empty space. Now, Brian, thankfully, was passing by, and the showrunners decided to just pull him in. They're saying, wow, you're kind of good looking, so can you fill in the spot for our last bachelor, uh, bachelorette contestant? And so Brian, he works in IT, um, He's very, he's very, uh, a, he's a go-getter. He's very uh, forward and optimistic. He, he likes to smile. He likes to groom himself, look good. Um, that's Brian for you. Now, I am not expecting Brian to win, but if he does, then good for him. <laughs> good for him. Honestly, I'm, I, I just asked Brian to be here uh, to fill in a spot. You see, he's even pointing at the other contestants saying, don't choose me, choose them. I am literally just here for the money. 
Uh, you know, I'm getting paid to make an appearance. Uh, yeah. So, thanks, Brian. But, uh, I'm just gonna say this right now. If Moran loses to Brian, I'm gonna be so disappointed in him. And then, if that happens, then maybe he doesn't deserve Chuaning, if that's the case. Anyway, I spent so much time going through all of the contestants. So let's jump into the actual simulation. Let's start. Okay, can you guys see this? It's kind of small. There we go. Okay. Limo arrivals, night one. Beef Leaf tells Chua Ning that they want to be Mr. and Mr. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be hard because they're a couple. Okay. Beef Leaf tells Chua Ning that they want to be uh, Mr. Chu. Uh, uh, wow, it's very forward. Uh, essentially, they're like, you wanna, you wanna join our little, uh, you wanna join our, we wanna marry you. That's essentially what they're saying. <laughs> um, of course, that's probably Shi Ching Xuan's idea. Of course, he's really forward. Uh, let's see. Shi Wudu talks to Chu Wanning with signs, with signs because he lost his voice. Oh no. Oh no, I hope your voice gets better. Liu Chingga speaks, but is incredibly awkward. Of course he is! Chi Wanning tries to help, but his awkwardness rubs off on him, and the whole situation is super awkward and weird. You know what, I'm not surprised because Chi Wanning and Liu Chingga are, have very similar personalities. And so I guess if one is an introvert, then the other is an introvert, and it's just two introverts being, um, awkward together. <laughs> Pei Xiu brings Chi Wanning a box of butterflies. <gasps> That is so romantic. Wow, Pei Xu, nice, nice. Okay. Zhang Cheng tells Chua Ning he needs to loosen up and gives him a shoulder massage. Wow. Okay, so again, Zhang Cheng could have offended Chua Ning by saying that you're kind of a, you, you kind of, you, you need to loosen up. You're kind of stiff. Um, Chua Ning may or may not get offended by that, but Zhang Cheng offers a massage. Um, a little touchy for the, for the limo arrivals, right? For the first meeting. I guess Zhang Cheng is really desperate to get a date, so he's 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 putting all the stops in. Okay, Mei Han Shui is super nervous when meeting Chua Ning and stumbles on his words. <gasps> Mei Han Shui? Nervous? Wow! I mean, I guess Chua Ning is a beauty, like outerworldly beauty. I I'm pretty sure most people would lose their breath when seeing him. They would just be in awe of his uh, beauty. Okay. Uh, Nei Ming Jue arrives smiling and greets Chua Ning with a hug. Wow, can you imagine getting hugged by all that muscle? <laughs> um, okay. Mu Qing tells Chua Ning he would not be here if he was not the bachelorette. Wow, okay, that's also kind of romantic in a way. Uh, he's saying that I'm only here for you. I'm not here because I want to be on the show. I'm here because I want to pursue you. Lo Bing Ge does a card trick for Chua Ning upon meeting her. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh Lo Lo Bing Ge trying to show off his skills. I wonder what kind of magic he was showing off. Brian. Brian arrives and meets Chu Ning in a pretty normal real life way. <laughs> I mean, he is only the 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 only guy, the only real life guy in this um contest. So that makes a lot of sense. Bing Chu creates a personal handshake with Chu Ning after meeting him. Ooh, 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 that's fun. I, you know what? I definitely believe that's uh, Shen Qing Chu's idea. That has to be his idea. He was like, you know what, Bing He, we gotta do something cool. We gotta do something different. Come on, let's do this cool secret handshake that only the three of us will know. And Bing He's like, yes, Shi Jun. Anything you want, Shi Jun. Nei Hui Song tells Chu Ning he is ready for a wild and crazy journey. Hmm, what kind of journey are you looking for, Hui Song? I feel like, except for plotting, you're not really interested in anything else. You don't seem like the type that's into physical labor or physical activity. So, he's probably talking about a psychological wild and crazy journey. <laughs> Nan Gongzi brings Chuan Ning a box of butterflies as well. Ooh, who else brought a box of butterflies? Pei Xiu. Ooh, Nan Gongzi and Pei Xiu are both doing the same thing. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you guys can't be doing the same thing. Lan Chiren arrives with a hot dog and says, I hope you like my wiener. <sighs> oh my god. Chuan Ning would definitely slap him. Lan Chiren. Lan Chiren. I know that you've been out of the dating game for a while, but that is really not appropriate. Okay. Shen Zhu tells Chuan Ning a cheesy knock-knock joke that goes over quite well. 
Guys, do you think Chua Ning would be the type that likes knock knock jokes? I actually do. I actually think that Chua Ning would really like dad jokes. Like he would find that type of humor funny. I don't know. I feel like at least modern day Chua Ning would really appreciate dad jokes. I really think so. His humor is kind of dated, uh, but that makes him really endearing. But yeah, good for you, Shenju. I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Mu Qingfang gives Chuaning a gift of a little hot dog from Arkansas. Um, Mu Qingfang, were you and Lan Chi Ren maybe talking to each other before this? Deciding? Who, just, who thought giving a hot dog was a good idea? This is definitely a euphemi euphemism for something, right? Euphemi euphemism? Euphemism. Guys, calm down. Not on the first meeting. You guys haven't even started dating yet. Moran tells Chuaning he's only here for him. You better be, Moran. Your eyes should not wander. Shui Meng talks to Chuaning with signs because he lost his voice. <gasps> oh no, Shui Meng. He must have been yelling a lot. Maybe he was really nervous about um, about coming here. So he maybe he was embarrassed. That's why he doesn't want to talk to Chuaning. So he's just signing. <laughs> Chi Rong we arrives wearing a crown. Yes, King Slay. <laughs> Of course Chi Rong would. Of course he would, wearing a crown. Uh oh, why is this cut off? Okay. Ye Wang Shi posts an insta story of him meeting Chua Ning before producers tell him that is not allowed. Ye Wang Shi receives the first impression rose. Ooh, wow. I knew Ye Wang Shi would be really charming to Chua Ning. Although I uh, I didn't realize it would be really technologically savvy. Hei Ming walks out of the limo with his puppy and meets Chua Ning. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Hei Ming, you are doing things right. We know Chua Ning has a soft spot for puppies. We know he does. He is really about puppies. Hei Ming, good job. Yue Ching Wen talks to Chu Wan Ning with signs because he lost his voice as well. Wow, three contestants lost their voice. Coming out of the limo, were they nervous? Were they practicing their lines and so their throats got sore? What happened? Okay, let's go to the rose ceremony. Here is a list of the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Wang Xian. Okay, so probably uh, Wang Ji got too jealous and, you know, got them disqualified. Ta Xian Jun. Understandable. Very understandable. Wen Ning. Oh, our poor cinnamon roll. I guess he didn't make much of an impression. Jun Wu. Okay, so you're not really into zaddies. Okay. I, that's understandable as well because you like... You like Moran. And you know, I guess if, if Ta Xian Jun is a zaddy and Moran isn't, and Ta Xian Jun got eliminated, then I guess you don't like zaddies. Yeah. Okay. Lan Shi uh, Chen got eliminated as well. Um, maybe, maybe he was too polite and let all the other contestants go before him or walk all over him. So. Sorry about that. Hua Lian, uh, uh, Hua Chung probably also got really jealous and had them eliminated. Uh, the Shwez. Ah, uh, okay. So they decided to pull out as well because they figured, you know what? Let Chua Ning find a romantic partner. We're not gonna, we don't want to take, steal his chance to mingle. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna bail out as well. Feng Xin. Okay, okay. Shi Qing, uh, Shi Mei, oh, Shi Mei, I'm surprised, but I guess you respect Chua Ning as a, as a disciple and aren't interested in dating him. Okay, and Mo Shang, of course, of course, I'm not surprised that the majority of the couples have been eliminated because I feel like Mo Bei Jun doesn't like sharing as well, and so he probably thinks that this is stupid, and he, you know... He, he pulled himself out. He was like, you know what? I can't share. I'm not interested. Sorry. That's okay. I feel like Chua Ning is also um, into just being with one person. He probably wouldn't do well in an open relationship. But here are the remaining contestants. Moran is still here. Good for him. Bing Chu is still here. But you know what? That makes sense because, again, a Shijun disciple relationship, Chua Ning might be really interested in learning more from them. I'm not going to read them all out because there are a lot, but let's just keep going. Okay, week one. Uh, week one. Okay, group date. Liu Qingge, Lo Bingge, Nan Gongsi, Ne Huai Sang, Moran, Jiang Cheng, Lan Qiren, and Bing Chu are invited to go out on a group date. Wow, Bing He and Bingge are both on this 
<laughs> date, okay. Zhang Cheng and Lan Chi Ren talk smack about Bing Chu when they are alone. <laughs> they're like, they're probably thinking, okay, why is there a couple here? You know what? This is not fair because this is like two against one, you know? Uh, Moran is frustrated that he is not getting much time with Chua Ning. Oh, yeah, Moran. Um, your Shijun is being distracted by other people. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a little bit more assertive. But it looks like he got a rose. Ooh, okay, good. Nei Huai Song draws in the other guys and Chua Ning with his magnetic personality. He's probably sharing the stories that he wrote and the uh, pictures that he has drawn. And everyone is just kind of looking through those books. Um, Chua Ning is probably interested to see what kind of positions are in those books that he could probably use on Moran later. Lo bing comforts Nan gong -si, who is having a hard time dealing with all the stress. Huh, Nan gong -si stressed? I guess he is the heir to, his, to, the, uh, to the Rufeng sect, so he probably has a lot on his plate. Lo bing -ge has a lot of experience running a, uh, running a kingdom, running a sect, running a kingdom. So he can probably, he can probably empathize with him. Uh, let's say Liu Qing, uh, Chuan Ning spends the majority of the date with Liu Qing Ge and the other guys get annoyed. Wow, well, you know what? Li Again, Liu Qing Ge and Chuan Ning have very similar personalities. I feel like they have a lot in common. They could talk about things. Let's see. Mei Huan Shui tells, oh, so Mei is invited to go out on a one-on-one -on -one date. Mei Huan Shui tells Chuan Ning about his past relationships. Oh no. The Bachelorette does the same and the serious conversation brings them closer. Um, so Chua Ning has had none, has had no pers uh, has had no past relationships, if you don't count his past life, and Mei Han Shui has too many to count. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Mu Ching Fang is also invited on a one-on-one -on -one date. Mu Ching Fang and Chua Ning discuss their dreams and goals for the future. I feel like they would get along really well talking about academics, talking about medicine, talking about tinkering. They have a lot in common in that area. Uh, Shui Meng is also invited to go on a one-on-one -on -one date with his Shijun. Shui Meng and Chuan Ning go on a hike while holding hands. Oh, that's kind of cute because you know in the novel that when Shui Meng is sad or not feeling well, he like goes to hug Chuan Ning and Chuan Ning readily hugs him. I think that's really adorable. So I could picture them holding hands like, you know, because you, you don't want to slip on the rocks when you're hiking. So Chuan Ning's probably, here, grab my hand. I don't want you to fall. You might hurt yourself. And Shui Meng's like, yes, Shijun, I got it. His hands are probably really sweaty and clammy though, because he's nervous. Okay, the rose ceremony. Here are the list of the contestants that did not receive a rose. Chi Rong. Let me guess, he didn't take a bath before coming. Okay. Ne Ming Jue. A little too gruff for him. Okay. Pei, Pei Xu. And Shen Ju. Ah, uh, okay. Shen Ju. Um, maybe a little bit too vain. Maybe not to Chi Wanning's taste. Remaining contestants, Moran is still in the running. You know who else is still in the running? Brian. Let's keep going. Week two, group date. Brian, Zhang Cheng, Bing Chu, Nan Gong Si, Mu Qing Fang, Moran, Mei Han Shui, and Shui Meng are invited to go on a group date. Brian and Zhang Cheng sit next to Chu Ning during a private concert. Ooh, okay. Jiang Chun doesn't seem like the type to be into a private concert, and I feel like Chuan Ning would think it's too loud, but I'm assuming it was probably Brian's idea. Bing Chu reads Chuan Ning a poem about love. <gasps> oh, ooh, ooh, I like this. Yes, yes, that that is great. Okay. Nan Gong Si plays with Chuan Ning's hair in front of all the guys. Dirty looks can be seen everywhere. Especially Moran. <laughs> Mu Ching Fang tells Moran he is worried that he is going to get his heart broken by Chua Ning. Uh, Moran's probably listening and nodding along saying, yes, your heart will be broken because he's mine. Sh Mei Han Shui tells Chua Ning that Shui Meng is here only to get famous and does not care about finding love. Oh, Mei Han Shui talking smack about Shui Meng behind his back, talking smack about Chua Ning's disciple. You know what? I don't know if that's going to help or harm his uh, standing in the competition because Chua Ning is really defensive about his disciples. Okay. Shi Wudu is invited to go out on a one-on-one -on -one date. 
Shu Wudu tells Chu Anning about his past relationships. The Bachelorette does the same and the serious conversation brings them closer. I wonder what kind of past relationships Shu Wudu would have. Uh, Lan, Sh Lan Shiren is invited to go on a one-on-one -on -one date as well. Lan Shiren and Chua Ning take a ballroom dance lesson with a professional dancer. That does seem like something they would both go and do. Interesting. I wonder how the, the dance uh, practice went. Rose ceremony. Here's a list of the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Ye Wang Shi. Um, Yue Qingyuan. Liu Qingge. And Mu Qing. Okay, you know what? That makes sense. Um, Ye Wang Shi, I'm pretty sure likes Nan Gong Si. <laughs> uh, Yue Cheng Yuan likes Shen Zhou. Liu Qingge cannot get over his broken heart and his one sided love for Shen Qing Chu. And also, I guess they're a little too similar to be in a relationship, him and Chu Anning. And then Mu Qing maybe just didn't have anything in common. <laughs> maybe he uh, complained too much. <laughs> Okay, remaining contestants. Moran is still here. As is Brian. <laughs> okay, week three, group date. Mu Qingfang, Brian, Nei Huai Sang, Nan Gongsi, Xue Meng, Mei Han Xue, Bing Chu, and Lan Qiren are invited to go on a group date. Where's Moran? Where is he? Mu Qing, Mu Qingfang pulls Chuaning aside to tell him how beautiful he is. Um. I mean, I'm pretty sure Chuaning has heard that a lot, but... So I don't know if he'll be flattered or he'll think that it's just superficial. Brian begins to cry. Nei Huai Sang comforts him and tells him that it will be okay. Brian, why are you crying? Brian. Also, Brian got the rose! Brian, wow, you're doing really well! Nan Gong Si tells Xue Meng he is worried that he is wasting his time on the show. Wow, first... Okay. So, everyone is ganging up on Xue Meng. They're, they really don't trust Xu Na, Xu An Ning's disciple. Xue Meng would never have any impure thoughts against Xu An Ning. I don't know why everyone is ganging up on him, this poor peacock. Mei Huan Xue and Bing Chu discuss which guys they like and dislike in the house. Um, I feel like Mei Han Xue and Shen Qing Chu would definitely be the gossipy type. They would probably be sitting together munching on like peanuts or something and saying, you know what, I think this guy is good, and I think that guy is trash. And, you know, Lo Bing He would just be sitting there nodding along and agreeing to whatever Shen Qing Chu was saying. Chu, Chu An Ning appears to be giving Lan Chi Ren a lot of attention during the group date. Oh, so he... Hmm. Hmm. So was he secretly impressed by Lan Chi Ren's hot dog costume <laughs> from the limo arrivals? <laughs> Two on one date. <gasps> oh my god. Beef Leaf and Moran are invited to go on a two on one date. Beef Leaf and Moran are aware of the rose sitting between them as they eat dinner with Chua Ning. I cannot believe that Moran got eliminated. Chua Ning was like, you know what? I'm really not going to make it easy for you. Sorry. Bye. Uh, oh no, Moran! Okay, so first your 0.5 self got eliminated, and now your 1.0 self got eliminated. We're gonna hope that your 2.0 self does a better job. He's not in this competition, but, you know, whoever Chuaning ends up with at the end of this simulator, you better go and uh, make your move, okay? So, here are the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Moran, I am so disappointed in you. You do not deserve Chuaning. Uh, Shi Wudu. Pei Ming and Zhang Cheng. So Zhang Cheng, again, he's not the best bachelor um, available, so I understand that he didn't make it. Pei Ming um, is too much of a womanizer for Chua Ning. Shi Wudu, I guess they didn't have anything in common, and Moran, I guess Chua Ning is too much of a sundere to really um, keep Moran in the competition. I would think that he's too embarrassed to actually end up with Moran, so he kind of like eliminates him, but don't worry, Moran's gonna come back. Outside of the show. So here are the remaining contestants. Wow, Brian, you're doing so well. Okay. Week 4 group date. Xue Meng, Nan Gong Si, uh, Nei Huai Sang, Bing Chu, Lo Bing Ge, Brian, Mu Qing Fang, and Beef Leaf are invited to go on a group date. Okay. Xue Meng plays with Chua Neng's hair in front of all the guys. Dirty looks can be seen everywhere. And you know that he has this privilege because he is Chiwaning's favorite disciple. 
Nan Gongsi grabs Chuan Ning and pulls him aside for a long kiss on the lips. Wow, how forward of you. You also got a rose for that. Wow. Nei Huai Song tells Bing Chiu he's worried that he's wasting his time on the show. Yeah, Nei Huai Song, I don't think you're really interested here. I actually think you probably came just to kind of promote your new book, your new fanfiction that you wrote. I think that Nei Huai Song would get along really well with uh, Liu Qingge's sister, uh, Liu Mingyan, you know? Maybe they could like collaborate on a novel or something. Lo Bing Ge tells Chu Ning that a lot of the guys have a problem with Brian. <laughs> Maybe because Brian is real and they're not. <laughs> Mu Qingfang tells Chua Ning that Beef Leaf is here only to get famous and does not care about finding love. I could see him thinking that that Beef Leaf are too absorbed um, and absorbed with each other to really uh, have enough room for Chua Ning to join them. Okay, two on one date. Mei Han Shui and Lan Chu Ren are invited to go out on a two on one date. Mei Han Shui gets the rose. Lan Chu Ren tells Chua Ning that he thinks it's unfair that he hasn't had as much time alone as Mei Han Shui. Well, I guess Chuaning didn't like him complaining because he got eliminated. Mei Han Shui got the rose. I mean, Mei Han Shui is also more charming. The rose ceremony. Here's a list of the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Lan Ren. Okay, we've only got a few left. Let's see, we have two couples still here, Beef Leaf and Bing Chu. Week 5, group date. Nei Huai Sang, Mei Han Shui, Shui Meng, Mu Qing Fang, and Beef Leaf are invited to go on a group date. Nei Huai Sang makes Chua Ning laugh several times throughout the date. Hmm, I wonder what kind of jokes he gave. Mei Han Shui tells Shui Meng he considered going home when he saw Mu Qing Fang kissing Chua Ning. Wow, okay, and Mu Qing Fang got the rose. Hmm. Beef Leaf makes all the guys laugh and eases the tension in the group. Of course, Shi Qing Xuan would uh, make everything really lively, and Shi Qing Xuan would not have any enemies. He's too nice to everyone. Two on one date. Brian and Lo Bing Ge are invited to go on a two on one date. Brian chugs his wine while Lo Bing Ge kisses Chu Ning. <gasps> wow. Okay, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. You you fought valiantly. You made it farther than Moran, and you know so kudos to you. But um. Chua Ning is not really looking for a real man. Like a real 3D man. So, I'm sorry, but it would never have worked out. But, you know, wow, Lo Bing Ge is doing really well. Listen, listen guys, like I said, Lo Bing Ge is looking for a Shijun, and you know, Chua Ning is a Shijun, so... So, Moran... Moran has some competition. Rose ceremony. Here is a list of the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Brian, because he was too real. Bing Chu, because again, they are, I'm pretty sure that by this time, uh, Lo Bing He got too nervous that they were doing too well in the competition, and so he, he told and whined to, to Shen Qing Chu that, let's, let's please, let's please pull out, let's please leave, and so he gave his puppy eyes, and Shen Qing Chu agreed to finally bail out the competition. And Nan Gong Si. Okay, let's keep going. We have six contestants left, one, which is a couple, who will reign supreme. Week 6, Group Date. Lo Bing Ge, Mu Qing Fang, Nei Huai Sang, and Mei Han Shui are invited to go on a group date. Lo Bing Ge makes a good impression on Chu Wan Ning even though he does not win the challenge. <gasps> what challenge was it? What challenge did Chu Wan Ning give? Chu Wan Ning appears to be giving Mu Qing Fang a lot of attention during the group date. Nei Huai Sang got a rose! Ooh! Nei Huai Sang is frustrated that he is not getting much time with Chu Wan Ning, but he still got a rose. Mei Han Shui makes Chua Ning laugh several times throughout the date. Ah, turning on the charms, isn't he? Rose Ceremony. Here's a list of the contestants that didn't receive a rose. Shui Meng and Beef Leaf. Shui Meng, because he probably respects Chua Ning as a teacher and cannot find it, find it in himself to cross the line to be a romantic interest. And Beef Leaf, because, again, they are just absorbed with each other. Remaining contestants, there's four left. Lo Bing Ge, Nei Huai Sang, Mei Han Shui, and Mu Qing Fang. Wow, guys. We've, um, so we've got two people from Scum Villain's self-saving system. One from Heaven's of Fifth, no, wait. One from, um, Grandmaster Demonic Cultivation, and one from Urha. Let's see. Ooh, okay, they're visiting hometowns now. Week 7, they're visiting everyone's hometowns. 
Lo Bing uh, tells Chua Ning that his family can be a lot to handle. You know, all of those demons living with him. Also, all of those, uh, all of the women in his harem. You know, a lot of women. Chua Ning is overwhelmed by them as they act cold and skeptical towards him. You know, I'm pretty sure Lo Bing Ge's wives get really jealous, so. Uh, Lo Bing Ge gets defensive and tries to play it cool. Uh oh. You know what? See, I really don't think Chua Ning is going to be happy that Lo Bing Ge has a whole harem of wives. Mu Ching Fang's family welcomes Chua Ning with open arms and have a blast during dinner. After dinner, there are some great individual conversations with Chua Ning, and the whole family has a fun time playing cards. Chua Ning fits right in with Mei Han Shui's family. He tells everyone he can imagine life together as a bigger family unit. The night ends with a passionate kiss. Wow. I mean, Mei Han Shui is a womanizer, but if he is willing to put down his flirty, flirtatious ways for Chua Ning, then, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's also very beautiful and can play music, you know? So I, I think Chua Ning would like that. Nei Huai Song plays basketball with Chua Ning and his family. They have a nice visit other than a dirty, quick dirty look when Chua Ning calls Nei Huai Song his boyfriend and a family member points out there are three other boyfriends. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh. 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 Wait. Wait. Was the family member saying that Nei Huai Song has three other boyfriends? No. No. <gasps> oh. No, no, no. So are they... Ooh, so they like low-key shading Chua Ning that he's also going on three other dates and visiting the hometowns of three other contestants. Ooh, uh-oh. You know what? If you can't get along with the family, it's going to be really hard to get to get into a serious relationship with them because depending on how invasive Mei Huai Sang's family is, um, Chua Ning would always be criticized, I feel like. So, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. So, let's see. Week 8 is the one-on-one -on -one dates. One-on-one -on -one dates, week 8. Nei Huai Song and Chu Ning talk a lot about the hometown date and seem excited about what is to come. Mei Han Shui reads Chu Ning a note he wrote him before they even met. He had watched him on TV and knew he was the perfect fit for him. Oh, so he's, he's, he's had his eye on him for quite a while. Knew about the esteemed Beido Immortal, the beautiful Yu Hung Elder. His reputation precedes him. Mu Qingfang is so excited to see Chua Ning again. They connect deeply while enjoying their time together. And it looks like Lo Bing Ge has been eliminated. His, his quest for Shijun has come to an end. Lo Bing Ge starts freaking out heavily about the other men. He gets really super nervous and possessive. He has a hard time connecting with Chua Ning and ultimately goes home. I guess he realizes that even though he's looking for a Shijun, Chua Ning is not Shen Qing Chu. Also, Lo Bing Ge still has a whole harem of wives, and Chua Ning ain't cool about that. Okay, the rose ceremony. Lo Bing Ge does not receive a rose. The remaining contestants, Mei Han Shui, Nei Huai Sang, and Mu Qing Fang. Who will be the winner? Week 9, the fantasy suites. Nei Huai Song and Chua Ning talk about the hometown date and laugh. Chua Ning appreciates how patient Nei Huai Song is and realizes it is such an important quality in a person. Mm -hmm. Nei Huai Song is very patient. He can also hold a, gr a grudge for a very long time. <laughs> Mei Han Shui and Chua Ning have some deep conversations and Chua Ning questions if he is ready for love. He seems to reassure him and in the morning they wake up all smiles. Ooh. Rockiness? Rockiness this far into the relationship? Let's see what happens. Mu Ching Fang got eliminated. Mu Ching Fang declines Chua Ning's invitation to the suite and decides to go home. He decided that, you know what, maybe, maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe I should go and dedicate myself to just medicine. That's very ad admirable of you, Mu Ching Fang. So, Mu Ching Fang does not get a rose and goes home. The remaining contestants are... Mei Han Shui and Nei Hua Sang. Cast your votes, people. Who is the winner of The Bachelorette? Who will take Chua Ning out as their boyfriend? The finale. Nei Hua Sang reads Chua Ning a poem about love and what could be their last time together. Nei Hua Sang proposes. Chua Ning says no, but that he is happy to continue dating him in the real world. 
Mei Huan Shui dressed up for his potential engagement proposal. He pours his heart out in a well, pours his heart out in a well thought well thought out letter, which seemingly was going to end in a proposal. However, Chuaning finally stops him when he says the words "Will you?" Mei Han Shui looks rejected. Ultimately, Chuaning is in love with someone else, and he apologizes to him. It's okay, Mei Han Shui. You have a Shui Meng Meng back at home, <laughs> who needs some loving as well. And okay, so it looks like uh, Mei Han Shui does not get the rose and goes home, and the remaining contestant is Mei Huai Sao. After the final rose. Here we go, Nei Huai Sang and Chua Ning, an unlikely wait no, an unlikely coupling, but interesting nonetheless. They don't get married. Chua Ning does not accept his proposal. However, he agrees to give him another chance and date in the real world, which is probably not gonna last long because Moran. Now that the show is over, Moran is gonna jump in. Moran 2.0, back better than ever, is gonna come and reclaim his Shijun's heart. But, um, Nei Huai Sang, enjoy your Valentine's Day date with uh, Chua Ning, you know? Treat him well, because Moran hasn't been so far. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to you both, guys! <laughs> so, contestant recap. Here is a list of the other contestants standing and when they were eliminated. Mei Huan Shui was in second place. Mu Qing was- Mu Qing Fang was in third place. Uh, let's see... Brian came out 9th place, which you know is not bad. Not bad. Moran came out in 14th place. That's so embarrassing, Moran. What the heck? Um, Tashin Jun, you got eliminated in the limo arrivals. You didn't get to even have a first date with Chuaning. Chuaning was like, yeah, this, bye. Um, so, yeah. That is the end of the Bachelorette Simulator Chuaning Edition for Valentine's Day. I hope Nei Huai Sang comes up with some romantic um, date plans to take Chua Ning on. And I low-key hope that Moran shows up to crash the party and become a third wheel. I hope, I hope he can kind of like stalks Chua Ning on his date to see what he's missing out on and why he should have fought harder for his heart. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the simulator. Um, let me know um, who else you would like to see as a bachelorette um, on the next version of the bachelorette. Um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I, again, I struggled to fill all the spots up, so there were some couples, there were some, um, there was Brian, you know, and you know, that's okay, because, you know, sometimes you're not there for the love, you're there for the, for the exposure. And so, you know what, Brian, kudos for you for getting so far, because you were kind of charming. Uh, but other than that, happy Valentine's Day to you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye also, Moran 2.0. You better say sorry to Shidrun. <laughs>